Hey, what's up guys? The one and only here, and I'm back with another video. First of all, I'd like to say Merry Christmas to everyone watching this video, though it may or may not be after or late as the time of the posting of this video. But anyways, or the watching, I guess. Anyways, getting on to the video. Today I have another video, and today we're going to be doing a review on, as you can see, the Halo 4 McFarlane Didact figure. So if we look at the packaging, it comes in this box with a uh, open window or whatever, and we get some artwork of him down here and stuff. Side it shows the figure and stuff. Uh, the top tells you has the logo and tells you 33 points of articulation. Other side, um, you know, same thing. Back it shows you some of the other figures from this wave, and up uh, top it. Um, just tells you a little more about the figure, and it includes a um a skin for the Halo Four, you know, the game. Um, it's not much to the box really, so why don't we open it and get on to the review? So without further ado, let's um ah uh, whatever. Well, we got the figure out of the packaging. Let's take a look at him. So. Right out of the packaging, one thing you notice is, um, well, you know, his size for one is one of the few things, uh, one of the, one of the many things you notice. Another thing is, um, his accessories. Let's get into that, shall we? So, the didact here has only one accessory, an alternate head, which is his helmet. And if we look at his helmet... You can see that this thing is packed full of details. Now, this is a six-year-old figure, which, um, from a basically a dead, from basically a brand from a or a dead brand from a dead company. Well, the company is not dead, but you know, the brand from the company is dead. And for a figure, uh, from that brand from that company. For a McFarlane Halo figure, this is a very well detailed piece right here. Um, it's not that uh, the, Mc the McFarlane figures had bad detailing. No, they had really good detailing. But their articulation was poor and everything, so we'll get into that in a second. But for this specific figure here, the detailing is pretty freaking great. It is a larger figure, so it would require more detailing in more places than other figures would. So, honestly, this is a really, this is a job well done here. I love the, um, the shading of, like, the oranges and the yellow and stuff. I mean, in these lines here, it might be a little bit, um, it might, you know, switch from orange to yellow a little bit too quick. Like, it was a fine line in some some areas but otherwise it looks pretty good i'm pretty sure these are printings or whatever uh, i think these are prints but you know they look good and everything paint job and everything looks pretty nice mostly clean you can see a little bit of um like splotching over here and there but it's very minimal um let's go ahead and that's all for for accessories. Let's let's get into this guy's height before we actually do articulation, if anything. So at the tallest, at like when he's standing up completely straight, the didex stands because this guy is a pretty large figure. The didex stands about he's not even in frame nine and a half inches. And keep in mind, this is basically a 118 figure. If you do the, um, like if you actually look it up or whatever, the didact is 11 feet tall. This figure stands at 9.5 inches, so this guy's pretty big. Um, a 112th scale version of the didact would, you know, be 11 inches tall, which is... not get into that right now let's take a look at all right so i'm gonna pop and swap the heads real quick and we'll take a look at the other head up close 
All right, now that I have the uh, head swapped, let's take a look at his unmasked head. So here we can see the unmasked head and we can see the Didax face and all. Um, sculpt wise, it looks, uh, it looks okay, you know? It doesn't look terrible, but reshooting this part of the video and on because it was not saved, um, it didn't save. Right, so getting into the head sculpt, it looks, you know, pretty good and all. It's not bad looking, it's pretty nice. Paint-wise, it's absolute crap. They didn't bother painting his uh, hair or quills or whatever you want to call them. The um, shading, coloring, and all that of the f actual head itself is basically non-existent they started this on a like a brown a brownish color and then over that they went with a very dark brownish red and all the colors bleed through the gray on both the hair and the face which was not applied um thick enough or well enough so it doesn't look good Eyes and everything look nice. The mouth could be better. We'll get into the figure in just a sec. Alright guys, honestly, I'm going to tell you right now, this is the third time I've recorded from here and on. Um, but yeah, we're getting into the figure, the sculpt work and everything. It's, um, it's, um, it's amazing and everything. Um, I'm just going to tell you from this, um, articulation is crap, sculpt, amazing, would not recommend to a kid, recommend to a collector, recommend to a customizer, works with, uh, McFarlane figures, of course, can work with the six inch figures, and barely, but it is possible to get it to work with one, true 112 skill figures. As long as you pose it in certain ways where he's floating and you know you have a clear stand with him and he's uh, you know the iconic force choke each figure each finger is individually articulated they're not capped off at either end so they're easy to fall off and lose every ball joint is a double ball joint though it may not act like it a uh, ball joint in the toes does not have the you know, these joints, um, single hinge and swivel in the ankles, although it's tough to get the actual articulation from there. Same joint in the knee, infamous ball joints in the legs, kicks out about that far, does not go back at all, goes out about that far, parallel, double ball joint in the torso, though it mostly acts as a 360 swivel. Double ball joint in the head, which is actually pretty good. Looks down about that far. Looks up that far. Looks side to side. Not too, too far, but far enough. Can tilt a lot, which is very odd. Um, shoulders give less than 90. But it's okay. Comes back basically all the way. Uh, elbows give less than 90, but it's okay. Goes basically straight. Um, swivel, hinge, swivel at the wrist, swivel, hinge, swivel at the elbows, swivel and hinge at the shoulders. In case I haven't mentioned that, and that's about it for articulation detail. I already think I already said this, but you know, um, collar is two bits, and each are made of clear plastic and have a to resemble the floaty bits. They're not actually floating, of course, and they don't really look like they are floating. But you know, what else could have been done? Um. I think that's it. If so, if you're to collect this dude, you know, if he's for a collection, then you know, very specific poses depending on scale. 
one to, uh, if you're trying to come get them to fit in six inch scale you have to have them in the pose where he's choking someone otherwise he's gonna look a little too small if you're trying to get him to fit in 112 skill, you have to have him in the choking pose. Or, you know, cho I'm saying choking pose or something similar to that. But for the 112 skill, he has to be on a clear stand and has to look like he's levitating like he does in the game. Otherwise, he will not look, he, he does not, he will look too small, period. If you're to get him to make a custom out of him forget it too much he's he runs 60 plus on ebay you know if he has all his fingers um if you're to get him to make a custom of him you know like to try to make him fit other scales then what i could recommend you try is to sculpt something at the bottom of his feet maybe increase the um gapping between his um the his feet and his you know like maybe somehow like bring this down and increase the gapping between there or something i don't know um basically extend his ankles extend his torso extend his neck those are my three recommendations if you extend his torso try to like build up the top of the bottom half so it doesn't look as awkward if you were to extend the neck then maybe make him a floaty bit but if you extend um his ankles basically what you're actually extending in the ankles is the um shin bit but like inside which is one of the best options to do if you're trying to rescale him another option is to sculpt at the bottom of his feet which are probably two of the best options the next best being the neck because it's easier to hide with a floaty bit or something because you know the head and whatnot not as um it's not as complex uh, I think that's everything I hope I do not have to record this for a fourth and or fifth time uh, I don't think I will be making another video until next year you know 2020 so till then happy new years and um, Merry Christmas to everyone um, for those who actually follow me on Instagram, I might start reviewing my customs. And if I do, the first custom that I review for next year will probably be a, my revamp custom of my Halo style Deathstroke. But you know, till then, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.